Masking kids doesn't work to slow COVID spread, Dr. Mark Siegel. Fox News medical contributor examines the new Omicron subvariant prompting many cities to reinstate mask mandates for children and weighs in on Buffalo Bill safety Dammer Hamlin's condition. The stance by the Centers for Disease and Control Prevention, CDC, on face masks has taken many twists and turns throughout the COVID pandemic. After initially claiming face coverings weren't necessary, the CDC changed course in April 2020, calling on all Americans even children as young as two years old to mask up. That September, then CDC Director Dr. Robert Redfield said during a Senate hearing that face masks are the most important powerful health tool we have, even suggesting that they might offer more protection than vaccines. COVID-19's lasting impact, less attractive people wear masks more often than others. Those recommendations likely played a large part in 39 U.S. states eventually enacting mask mandates. Now, a new scientific review led by 12 researchers from esteemed universities around the world suggests that widespread masking may have done little to nothing to curb the transmission of COVID-19. Shown here wearing a mask is Dr. Rachel Walensky, current director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The CDC's stance on face masks has taken many twists and turns throughout the pandemic. Shown here wearing a mask is Dr. Rachel Walensky, current director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The CDC's stance on face masks has taken many twists and turns throughout the pandemic. AP photo slash Susan Walsh, Poole, File. Published by Cochrane Library, the review dug into the findings of 78 randomized controlled trials to determine whether physical interventions including face masks and hand washing lessen the spread of respiratory viruses. A new scientific review suggests that widespread masking may have done little to nothing to curb the transmission of COVID. When comparing the use of medical-slash-surgical masks to wearing no masks, the review found that wearing a mask may make little to no difference in how many people caught a flu-like illness slash COVID-like illness, nine studies, 276,917 people, and probably makes little or no difference in how many people have flu slash COVID confirmed by a laboratory test, six studies, 13,919 people, dot. New Jersey three-year-old kicked out of speech therapy due to mask mandates, catastrophic moral crime. Next, the review compared medical-slash-surgical masks to N95 respirators, or P2 respirators, which are used in Europe. It found that wearing N95-slash-P2 respirators probably makes little to no difference in how many people have confirmed flu, five studies, 8,407 people, and may make little to no difference in how many people catch a flu-like illness, five studies, 8,407 people, or respiratory illness, 3 studies, 7,799 people. Dot. It was the state and local authorities that took the CDC's recommendations and implemented the mandates, Dr. Mark Siegel, a Fox News medical contributor based in New York City, told Fox News Digital. It was the state and local authorities that took the CDC's recommendations and implemented the mandates. Dr. Mark Siegel, a Fox News medical contributor based in New York City, told Fox News Digital. I stock. The 78 studies looked at participants from countries of all income levels. Data was gathered during the H1N1 flu pandemic in 2009, non-epidemic flu seasons, epidemic flu seasons up to 2016 and the COVID-19 pandemic, the study authors wrote. Doctor says review had some key limitations. The new findings seem to call into question the CDC's enthusiastic embrace of widespread masking. Women more likely to suffer from long COVID, but healthy habits can lower the risk. However, Dr. Mark Siegel, professor of medicine at NYU Longoni Medical Center and a Fox News medical contributor, pointed out a key limitation, the researchers focus primarily on randomized trials, but most of the studies that have been done on masks are population studies, he said. There are very few randomized trials on masks. The recommendations may have been wrong, but the CDC doesn't deserve the blame for everything. Dr. Mark Siegel 
In a randomized trial, researchers place participants in different groups and observe the results in a controlled environment. By contrast, population-based studies measure outcomes in a real-world setting. In April 2020, the CDC called on all Americans even very young children to mask up against the coronavirus. In April 2020, the CDC called on all Americans even very young children to mask up against the coronavirus. Reuters slash Brendan McDermott slash file photo. The study authors did admit to some limitations and a risk of bias, including the low number of people who followed mask guidance and the wide variation of outcomes. The results might change when further evidence becomes available, they wrote. Be sure of consistency. Dr. Siegel said he has never supported mask mandates. Reaction to four-year-old child forced to leave school for not wearing a mask, completely baffling. He believes that while masks might be effective on an individual level, they don't work as well on a population level. If you're going to mandate something, you'd have to be sure of consistency across the population, and that's never happened, he said. However, the physician pointed out that the CDC never actually mandated masks with the exception of a public transportation mandate in January 2021. As of right now, no U.S. states have mask mandates in place. As of right now, no U.S. states have mask mandates in place. Getty Images It was the state and local authorities that took the CDC's recommendations and implemented the mandates, Dr. Siegel said. The recommendations may have been wrong, but the CDC doesn't deserve the blame for everything. I think they were aware that masks may have value on a personal basis, but they got carried away with the politics. As of right now, no U.S. states have mask mandates in place. On Sunday, New York dropped its statewide mask requirement in hospitals leaving the decision up to individual facilities. Many health care facilities are currently still requiring them. Watch live, Biden admin health officials testify on federal response to COVID-19 video.